Hey guys, today I wanted to respond to a comment on my video last week. XD writes, can you possibly do a video on how to maintain your level of playing during times when you are very busy? I started grad school again and suddenly found myself losing skill and was just curious how you keep up during periods of times when you'll be super busy for weeks, maybe even months. This is an issue that I noticed is more prevalent among adult musicians. This is something that I've discussed as well with my professional level musician friends. We also find that as adults and when you're actually in the profession itself, ironically, you don't actually have that much time to practice. Like you would think that you would have a lot of time to practice if this is your career, right? No, I'm not sure what you're in grad school for XD, whether or not it is for music or not, it is actually really hard to find time to practice. Before I started streaming regularly on Twitch, I wasn't actually really practicing. Basically, I got away with raw talent and just the fact that I was playing a little bit of flute every day while teaching, plus a little bit of practicing for my concerts with the Enzyme Symphony and Chorus. Honestly, that's all I did. This year, I also got married. Originally, I was only gonna take one week off before the wedding, have the wedding, then we were gonna take about a week and a half, two weeks-ish for our honeymoon. I thought that I could get away with only three to four weeks of not practicing, but then I got really sick halfway through my honeymoon. That sickness kept going for like six weeks. <laughs> it ended up being a really long time of not being able to practice at all. Ironically, as an adult, that's actually one of the ways to deal with not having enough time to practice is actually setting a set amount of time that you're like, from this time to this time, I am not gonna practice because looking at my schedule, I absolutely have no time and have no energy. If I didn't get sick, then this would have worked out better. What you then have to plan after your set time off is a period of time where you ramp back up into your previous skill level. Essentially, it's like a series of boot camps. I gave myself a boot camp of harmonics and tone work when I came back to practicing. And right now I'm currently getting towards the end of my technique boot camp. So what I did was assign myself things to do. I would actually write them down and that way you're never really guessing the next time you come to your practice session what you're doing that day. You would have written it the day before what you want to work on. So right now I'm feeling like I'm getting towards the end of my technique boot camp with the Machiavellian exercises. I'm starting to really feel like I'm getting back into the swing of things. I'm really starting to discover new things about myself and I'm no longer just working back up to my old skill level. I feel that the next thing I want to do is focus on getting a piece of repertoire up. The second thing is to be a little bit more forgiving of how often you practice and schedule it in. I did mention this before for the people who are just starting music school right now. One of the key ways to make sure you do practice when you're really busy is to schedule in your practice time as if it's an appointment. Now, if you're really, really busy, you're an adult, you have adult things to do and you have grad school, in your case, I would be as forgiving as setting aside only three half an hour sessions per week. In my experience with myself and with my students, three practice sessions that are about half an hour each time is enough to maintain your playing. That way you don't lose your skills, as you said. Now, the other thing to keep in mind as to why you may feel like you're losing skill, it could be a result of anxiety and tension from being so busy. In the month leading up to my wedding this year, the things that I could do in March, I could not do in April, even though I was practicing every day. So like literally the speed of doing some exercises from the Machiavellian exercises went down. It was very alarming. It was very frustrating. And it actually took me a little while to realize that it was probably a result of tension and anxiety about the wedding. Anybody who has planned a wedding knows what I'm talking about. Your loss of skill level may not actually be just because you're not practicing enough. It really could just be because you're stressed. Be a little bit forgiving of yourself for that. This last idea really comes from me 
streaming, I realized that it's actually really nice to have people that you're accountable to, to listen to your practice. You can like hop on to Discord or something like that. Your friends will know that you're practicing and then they can join in and listen to you while they're doing their own work and stuff like that. Because we have the technology for it now, you don't have to like drag your friends to listen to you practice in person. Everyone can be just kind of doing their own thing. I do know that there are some Discord servers out there that do a similar thing. They have practice rooms. It provides a way for you to not feel like you're just working, but like you can also chat with the people that are listening to you. That's probably one of the things that I enjoy the most about Twitch is the fact that when I'm practicing, I can take a mental break from practicing and chat with people about random things and then go back and practice. I noticed that today I had a kind of a weird tone day and I was just like, you know what? I mean, you know, if it's weird, then it must mean I'm holding some sort of stress tension somewhere. I know that for me, one of the ways to de-stress me is to talk. I am a talker. That's why I'm on YouTube. So I just started to chat with my Twitch peeps slowly slowly throughout the session as I chatted with them and then went back to practice and then chatted with them and then went back to practice I really did just relax down and then I got my tone back <laughs> it can really help de-stress you if you have people listening to you who are truly supportive some of my IRL friends hop onto my stream. Like I play games with them. I don't do professional music things with them. They're not my colleagues. They're my actual friends. They will hop on stream with me and they'll just listen to me practice while they're doing their own stuff. It's a really great way to not be stuck in your own head in, when you're practicing because that can get really depressing really fast. It's a much more positive experience. I hope that was helpful. I hope that answered your question, XD. I don't actually even normally make these types of videos, but I saw your question and I just had to make a video about it to address it because I am noticing that more and more of you who are subscribed to me are actually you know adults the issues that you face as an adult musician are very different from the issues that you face as a young musician I want nothing more than to share how I've been experiencing the same things I love you all very much I'll see you guys next week